Hello friends, in this video let's talk about what is output class purpose in the SQL Server. It's not new in SQL Server 2019, we have uh, since long actually. But this is one of the important class in SQL Server. When you perform a DML operation, manipulated operations, you may need to know what kind of operation you have performed. Let us say you inserted a record. You want to tell to the respective application back saying that you have inserted this row with these details. Let us say you are trying to insert the data from a front end application that might be a site core or that might be a .NET or any application. So you want to reply back saying that so and so has been inserted. Those details are these. So and so rows are deleted. These details are these. So and so rows are updated. Those are these details. You want all these information back when an operation performed. See, it works little similar to the SELECT clause in SQL Server. So we can perform four operations by using OUTPUT class. So let me tell you what are those four. So the first one is INSERT. INSERT OUTPUT. INSERT WITH OUTPUT, I'll put it as OUTPUT. Let me put as OUTPUT here. Output insert. While doing insert also we can do the output. Second one is, uh, I'll put it as a delete with output. Third one is update. I mentioned DML operations. Update with output. Fourth one is merge. Merge operation. with output. So these four operations, let me make it as insert with output first so that it's very easy to read. So this is very easy to read. Insert with output, delete with output, update with output, merge with output or merge operation with output. So whenever you are doing all these four operations, you can use output class. So even though you are not inserting or you are not deleting or not updating or you are not merging the data from a front end applications, you are directly performing on the SQL server itself. Also you can use output class. <laughs> so that time it will show you the output in a, a grid format in the down in the output uh, way. It's up to you now. Do you need how many rows has been inserted only count you need or you need what are the records has been inserted or you need what are the records has been deleted or you need what are the operations has been merged. So merge is nothing but the upset actually you know that. <laughs> Let me quickly show you one basic uh, example by using insert or delete or update in this video. Then we'll go in detail what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages as well. <laughs> Now let me quickly go to SQL Server Management Studio and show you an example. So if you see in the examples database, I have one uh, table with a name of EMP. So this EMP table has, so three to four columns, let me show you the columns, then I'll write insert query, okay. So now let's set star from EMP. I have four columns and it's empty table, ID employee, EMP name, location and EPT ID. <laughs> So uh, ID employee is integer and uh, this MP name location is a, a string and um, department ID is again integer or numeric. <clears throat> so let me put an insert query for this insert. It's a common query actually. Insert query is common. I'll show you without output class then I'll, I'll put it as a uh, with output insert um, into uh, EMP values. So I'm not specifying a name of the column here. Okay. So one zero one comma. So name as strings unit represented in a single quotes name as uh, John 
come on so location as uh, UK I'm just keeping as UK uh, next one is comma DPT as, as a 10 okay so I'm, I'm simply keeping this as a statement this insert statement everybody knows it <laughs> okay so now so let me quickly run this so one record ideally inserts and because I'm following the um, uh, syntax with the correct values I'm passing one row has been affected and I can see one row has been inserted into this table I can see that as well 101 <laughs> now how to use output class here so let me put it as so similarly I'm going to prepare one more statement with output class insert into EMP let us see the difference now I'm going to specify the column names here <laughs> ID employee comma EMP name as I mentioned uh, intelligence has been enabled uh, already by default I'll get the uh, names when I type uh, the first letters okay comma DEPT ID so by default it enables if somehow it's disabled you can enable back by using uh, options actually now I'm going to put it as output here output inserted inserted okay so dot I'm put see once I specify output inserted dot I, I, I can see all those four columns so if you want to specify any of the column you can see it otherwise I'll put it as a star <clears throat> it means that all columns I want I want to see what all the values has been inserted into this table <clears throat> now I'm going to put it as a values so values values then put it as a values so one zero two comma I'll need to provide the in the same uh, way MP name as a uh, Kate so I need to put it as a Kate next one is location as a USA next one as a department ID as 20 so now this is how I need to prepare a query now so once the query is ready you can execute it once I insert once I execute this what will happen you know it inserts the data into the MP table and it will give you the result in the select in the down result pan okay let me run this you see this so what records has been inserted is these are the records has been inserted so 102 Kate USA and 20 now if you really run this select query you'll get this now if you really understand the difference here so almost output is working as a select only but see this select is giving complete output of the employee table <coughs> So this output is giving only the res, re, rows which are inserted during this operation. <clears throat> similarly, similarly you can do the same option for in delete, update and merge as well. So this is the purpose of output class. So even if you perform a delete operation also you will get the same. So now what I will do is I will try to put a two rows here. So I, I currently I kept only one row. So now I am planning to keep a two rows here. So what will happen is, so I will put it as a different row. Now one zero three. I'll put a different name. Uh, Raj. What will happen? How many rows you'll get it? We'll see. India. So I'll go with the same name. Now I'll put it as a comma. I'll put it this one zero four. Um, G one. I will put it as India department ID as 30 I am simply keeping I am trying to insert two rows into this uh, EMP table by using a single insert query so what will happen two rows will be inserted into this uh, uh, this table and two rows will come as a result in the result pane so let me quickly run this yeah I got this 103 and 104 and the location India and even employee names correctly so two rows has been inserted you can see how many rows has been affected here so while when, when you run this kind of similar queries you will get two tabs here so one is result tab one is messages tab in the messages tab you can see how many rows has been affected and how much time it took you can see it okay now let's originally come to the original select table run this so ideally so if you run this query again you will get two pans in the bottom results and messages here you can see four rows has been affected and completion time but if you run this similar query, I'll show you how many uh, uh, tabs will come in the bottom. Let me make it as 105 this. Uh, John Daniel. Daniel UK and uh, location I have uh, uh, 30. If I run this, you'll 
observe the difference how many tabs I'm going to get in the bottom. It's run this. I got only one tab. Why? Because I'm not expecting, I don't get a results. Why? Because I'm not expecting any results because I didn't specify even output or I am not running a select query. That's the reason why I don't have a results tab. So that's how you need to see the, that's how you need to use the output class. So that's all about it. Thank you. Thank you for watching.